How has it been like the to have like all the kids homeschooling and everything? Um, actually, you know, um, in the very beginning when Doug asked me to homeschool the children, I didn't want to do it because I didn't want to put their education in my hands simply because <laughs> I wasn't confident enough that I could. And then, of course, the time and then, of course, um, everything that, uh, of course, Doug and I are working and there are times that I really get busy. But then, you know, um, I'm so glad that I obeyed and submitted <laughs> to my husband <laughs> because um, <laughs> because uh, it's been it's been very easy, especially when the pandemic happened. There was not much adjustment in terms mm. of um, uh, homeschooling. And it felt like, you know, um, we were just going along just day by day, just like how, what, we, what we were doing before the pandemic. Yeah, before the, before the lockdown, which was March of last year, I retired just a few months before that from basketball. So, you know, we were planning things according to um, our You're work retired. having, yeah, our, my retirement. Here at home lang lahat ng mga shoots namin. Mm. And if we have meetings, you know, we just travel to the city if we need to. And then the kids, all three of them was homeschooled. So we were pretty much carrying over our routine when the pandemic yeah. happened. Mm -mm. Yeah. What, back at been, I'm sorry. Well, why, did, why did you guys decide to homeschool your kids? Well, because um, with Doug's schedule with basketball, it was really quite hard to travel or go anywhere. And then um, by the time that he's on basketball break, the kids are in school. So it, uh, it's hard to catch up with school. Plus, you know, um, the traffic here in Manila is really bad. Yeah. And um, we also just decided that it would be best for us to homeschool the kids while they're still growing up because, um, you know, we only have our kids for a short while. And the kids also requested that if they could be homeschooled wow. and they wanted to spend more time at home with us their parents and, you know, just have more liberty to do anything that they want to do because the schedule is, uh, we decide on the schedule. Yeah, that's the beauty of homeschool is the flexibility. At the same mm -hmm. time, there's no wasted time compared to, you know, we went through the whole regular school schedule and here in Manila, you have to allot two hours pretty much from waking up to travel to school and then another mm -hmm. one hour to two hours to get home. So that four hours per day, we can do so much more other activities for the kids. Yeah, and uh, so, yeah, for example, you know, the kids used to wake up at 5.30 at six or 6 a.m. for, oh, for them to arrive at school at 7.30. And then they finish at 3.30, they get home at 5, 5.30. So the whole day's gone now. Mm -hmm. And then they have homework pa. So they'll, they'll pretty much start their night at 7, 7.30, dinner, then sleep. But when we had homeschool, when now, we started, yeah. yeah, when we started homeschool, they would wake up at 8.30, shower, eat, then start their homeschool at 9, then they'd finish at 2 o'clock, latest. Ah. Yeah. So now they have so much more activities and there's no wasted time. Right. Sorry, I'm ignorant talaga ako when it comes to homeschooling, but... Since because of the current situation, everybody's gonna ho be homeschooled. Yung concern ko lang is, apana yung social interactions nila with kids their age. Is That's that a, it, it, It's yeah. so funny that a lot of people are so concerned about the socialization, but then socializing begins at home with your parents, yeah. with the people here at home, the the helps or um, your cousins, your relatives that come over. And mm. when they think of homeschool, they think they're they're trapped in the four walls of their uh, home. But actually, in school, you're also in four walls, right? But and you just have more classmates. You just have more right. people around. But it doesn't necessarily mean if you go to school, you'll overcome your shyness or you'll overcome, you know, socializing, your fear of socializing. In fact, I noticed with my children, because they're so used to talking to um, different people of different ages, Mm. They're so comfortable in, in expressing what they think or what they right. feel. Yeah, and, so. um, and because homeschooling is just not at home, we, 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 we go out a lot. Before the pandemic, we would have field trips. We would also talk to other homeschooling families so that we could set up um, a field trip for, for our children. And it's been really fun for them. And actually, they've been also learning a lot. And... They enjoy it. 
Mm. Yeah, I, that sound, your story sounds so familiar because my sisters also started homeschooling. Yeah. And it's so new to us, our whole family. And she always says the same things you're saying, that my kids are begging me to homeschool them. <laughs> and coming <laughs> from the outside, we can't grasp that concept. No? Yeah. But, huh? yeah, I mean, you know, we would get a lot of uh, questions. And number one is socialization, sports, and all of that. But... Um, some people who haven't tried homeschool, sometimes they give their own opinion and saying homeschool is not good without having tried experience. It, yeah. mm-hmm. So for me, the best ones who will give experience, uh, the best ones to answer is, are those parents who have gone through regular school and homeschooling for their yeah. kids. And now they can mm-hmm. wait. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. And we've done both. You know, mm-hmm. we've, Kendra went to regular school for a while and we love her in homeschool, and she also loves homeschooling. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But of course, there are pros and cons also with homeschooling. But then, I guess, as parents, you should also know where you should adjust when in terms of, let's say, socialization. We really have to really go out of our way to, to schedule meetups, to um, build co-ops and stuff like that. Right? So it's really being intentional in your homeschooling. You can't expect that... Um, uh, your kids uh, will be able to uh, be comfortable with other people if you don't also set up uh, going out for them or field mm. trips or get-togethers. Right? You have to be intentional with doing that. So, so it's more work for you. Actually, it's not. It's just like <laughs> play date. You just say, you know, uh, who wants to uh, go on a play date? And then you invite friends over because you know, there's so much free time. Right. It's easy for, for us to set up, like, after, let's say, after homeschool, they can stay up a bit later because, of course, we handle our, our schedules. So we say uh, what time homeschool will be or, you know, we can cancel it for the day. It depends, right? Mm-hmm. So it's really, it's really up to the parents on how to go about. So, I was homeschooled also before. Mm. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so you mom. can really testify. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and I really enjoyed it when my mom was homeschooling me and she was the one teaching me because I really learned a lot. Not, not that I'm taking away anything from any teacher, but I guess um, because of the time, you don't have to rush. Right. You yeah. don't have to rush on your, your curriculum. You don't have to rush and follow a certain schedule. With homeschooling, it, you, well, of course, you have to finish in the 10 months' time, ba? Right? But then... Um, if you don't understand the subject that you're learning or the topic that you're learning, you can linger on. Because in homeschooling, it's more of loving what you're doing and understanding what you're doing rather than having to uh, move forward because of the curriculum or the, the schedule of the curriculum that you're, that you're trying to finish. And, and you know what? Another thing is, siguro for regular school, I'd say that you know, the kids are being taught one way and yes. everyone has to learn one way. Mm-hmm. But in homeschool, sometimes the children don't learn exactly the same way. Yeah. So, who's more visual? Um, iba iba sila. Eh. Mm-hmm. And, and sometimes one child may not be as quick to learn as the classmate, right? Yeah. yeah. But in homeschool, you know, you can. It's not you know taking your time, but you can you can have I, the flexibility yeah. of saying, "I don't understand this. Can you please explain?" Yeah. Rather than textbooks of just you know. Let's finish this chapter this month. Let's finish this textbook this month. Mm-hmm. And then suddenly when you come home, you have to relearn some things. So what we've learned is for us, our kids, their retention for material is much higher at home. If you guys want to hear the full episode, you can... Check us out on Spotify. Spotify, Spotify, Spotify. Spotify. It's free, guys. It's free. See you there. Hi, podcast. Hi, podcast. <laughs>